Hey everyone, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Now today's video is going to be a chatty get ready with me. So for anyone that might be brand new to my channel, hey my name is Danny. Welcome to this like safe place where we can play around with makeup, talk about all things beauty and just have some fun. How about that guys? How about that? So we are going to crack on with the makeup because I feel so dry and just not cute. We're gonna use some brand new products and I'm gonna maybe try to list all the products down below, but that's gonna be kind of hard because I'm not really, it's not really about the makeup today, guys. It's more about just a chatty thing. But basically, one of the things that I really wanted to talk about was actually that it's coming to the end of March and I personally feel like Okay, so the first quarter has gone by. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm feeling a bit shook. I'm feeling a bit like, you know, what have I done? What have I achieved? Am I on track? And if I'm honest, like the whole of March for me has just been a little bit slow in terms of, I've just been feeling a bit sluggish. Because I work for myself and I work from home quite a lot, I just feel like a weekday could be a weekend, like it all kind of blurs into one. And I could basically work like six, seven days in a row and I won't even really notice because I don't have that much of a like routine. Day by day, day goes by and then week goes by and you just look back and you think, oh God, it's already like March and what have I done? So I feel like, you know, if you're just not one of those people who just does things like booking a holiday. Oh, wait a minute guys, it's time to post on Instagram. All right guys, so literally just posted a brand new cute little pic right here. So if you're watching this, make sure you go check it out and give it a double tap and write a comment, okay? It's all about self-love this one. Okay, yeah, so I kind of work like day to day and personally I feel like you have to be really, really proactive to get stuff done, I personally find. Okay, I have to work really quickly. I'm, I'm using the Dragon Beauty color corrector. I'm actually obsessed with it, but I feel like you have to like go for it quickly. I'm like, oh God, quick, before it dries. I know this might sound really ridiculous guys, but even just like, booking a holiday or like doing your weekly food shopping and even just like giveaways, like doing giveaways. I, I actually really want to do a video of like what you need to do to like do a giveaway because it's not that easy. Sometimes it's like, you know, you have to like put all the products together, like go to the post office, like just doing all these things. And like with me guys, I think people forget, they just see like the photos, they see the Instagram, they see the videos, but people actually forget that behind all of that is like a person or like a team and they're just trying to produce content all the time. And with me, it's just pretty much me. And this year I've decided to take the plunge and I've decided to hire some people and expand the Danny DeFreitas empire. And I have a little team now, which is incredible. Shout out to my team if you guys are watching this. There's no one in the room right now, it's just me. I don't know why I'm looking that way. <laughs> um, but yeah, a shout out to those people who are basically just like helping me and supporting me and like just really believing in me and what I'm doing. And you know, it's kind of, it's a bit of a grown up thing. I'm like, oh, okay, wow, I have like people that I need to pay now. Like that is a whole different, different thing going on. So I'm actually really, really proud of myself. And this year I went to a psychic and I know that some of you might not like believe in this stuff. I know it's a bit heebie jeebie, but I went to a psychic and they basically said to me that I can only grow and I can only expand if I like hire people. So I was a bit like, okay, God. And apparently I'm looking for a female air sign who is gonna be really, really good for me. So if you're a female air sign, maybe it's you boo. So yeah, I'm really, really excited about that side of things. And I feel like just having people kind of like help me and, you know, believe in me actually puts me in this motivational place where I feel like, okay, cool. I've got people who kind of like depend on me and I need to be motivated and stuff like that. And I am quite hard on myself and I feel like it's very easy to forget like where you came from or like it's easy to forget that you're just a real person and you just gotta give yourself a break sometimes. But I want us to like get to know each other and I wanna just basically, you know, keep it real at the same time. Cause I feel like with Instagram, I love Instagram so much, but it's all so like polished 
And I just think, is there a platform like where I can just keep it real? Do you know what I mean? Like I almost feel like even when I'm doing stories on my Instagram, I feel like brands might be watching like, why are you at home in your pajamas? Like looking a mess. And that's just how I am most of the time. I'm just at home in a hoodie most of the time, like with no makeup on, looking like a mess, basically editing and working, like that's just real life. So that's why I really miss like Snapchat. I really miss the fact that you could just chat on there. You know, you know that feeling? So yeah, because I've been feeling a bit like, oh my God, it's March already. Like where has the time gone? I'm freaking out. I decided to look back on the last three months and write down all of the things that I felt I really accomplished and that I'm really, really proud of. I just wanna be in a really cool position where we can all inspire each other. I'm not perfect. And I wish I could do more than what I can, but there's only so much I can really do. You know those days where you're just like, I just want to sit and eat a pizza on a Friday night and stay in and not work. We all have those moments, right? There's no point in me going, oh, I'm just perfect. <laughs> Cause you're not. So basically here are some of the things that I achieved that I'm really proud of. And just before we get started, this is not me bragging. This is me like trying to take a moment to just appreciate that this year is going well and that I'm doing good. All right guys, so where did I leave off? So yeah, I decided to just do my brows off camera cause I'm running late as per usual, but yeah. So some of the things that I'm really, really proud of this year so far is that I managed to get a second shipment of my lashes into Superdrug. Um, I still get loads of DMs about people asking like, where can they get my lashes? So we are exclusively at Superdrug all across the country and you can also get it online. It doesn't ship internationally guys, but do not worry. I'm thinking about doing maybe like a little giveaway so that everyone internationally can win. So obviously we launched that last year and it is a limited edition product and it's just been going so, so well. Honestly, thank you so much to every single person who's even like bought one pair of lashes. Like it's so surreal. I never, ever, ever thought that my face would be on a box sold in a shop, like in hundreds of stores with like tens of thousands of units to like shift. I still cannot believe it. And the fact that that's happening like with the number one global lash brand, Ardell, is kind of like, it's still very surreal. Like I still haven't taken that moment to like truly appreciate it. So it's, it's incredible, but yeah, like that's happening. Um, what else do we have? So yeah, like I said, I've decided to like expand my team and just really go for it and think, right, you know, what can I do? What kind of support can I have just to make my life a little bit easier? Oh, I did this really cool campaign with L'Oreal. It was a lash serum. This was actually like L'Oreal makeup. And that got picked up by like the press, which was kind of crazy. And it was like everywhere and I just could not believe it. So that was like a really, really cool thing, which kind of led to like my campaign this year, which is Derma Blend and Vichy, which is also like just a dream come true. And like, I managed to have all my friends there with me and my boyfriend and we just like celebrated all together and it was so amazing guys. I actually wish that maybe I vlogged that situation because it was like really surreal. But this year I am the face of Derma Blend, like one of the faces of Derma Blend where we will be going out to Boots. So like I said, it's Super Dragon Boots, but we're gonna be in Boots now. So hopefully wherever you shop, you might see me and my little face. Um, but yeah, it's to talk about how you can use Derma Blend if you have rosacea pigmentation or anything like that, or if you just wanna look good. So I'm actually thinking about posting a video on it because there's a really strong message in there and I just want people to know that the reason why I got into makeup is actually because I had really bad skin and I did want to cover up. It kind of grew this passion that I love now. So it's kind of weird. Like I used it because I was just really insecure, but now it's something that I'm really, really passionate about and that I love doing. This year, I also managed to go to Disneyland Paris with my family and that was just kind of like for fun and that was so good. It was absolutely freezing. We decided to go in January. I would not recommend going there in January because there was like ice and snow and it was wet and most of the rides you kind of queue up outside. So even though it looked cute on the gram, the cold was real guys. It was so cold. I was freezing and I was wearing 
not the right outfit because I decided to wear Boohoo Disney gear. Mm. Again, it looks super cute for the gram, but what you don't see is the pain happening all there. Oh, and I also did this really amazing talk with this like magazine slash community thing where I was on a panel, we did like a podcast and I was there with like these like amazing other people like Google, like people from this platform called Influence and then um, other influencers and also someone from like the ASA. So I was just like, what am I even doing there on this panel? How did I get here? But it was actually really, really nice because I love teaching and I love sharing like everything I know with people. So another thing I did is, I can't really talk about it because it's not out yet, but I did a global, I think global, um, I did a summer campaign with a amazing brand, which I can't say just yet, but it will be out soon. It was just so right up my street. The team were absolutely amazing. The casting was absolutely amazing and I cannot wait for the photos to come with like I cannot wait to announce this so yeah it's very very different for me to be on that side of things again because usually like I will be the influencer or, like maybe doing some photos and content and stuff but this time I was like a makeup artist again so it was really really nice to kind of go right back to the roots and obviously I still do that I still do master classes this year so far I've done Poland and this weekend I'm actually going to Germany um, but it depends when I post this video. So it's really, really nice to like travel and do these masterclasses because it just gives me the opportunity to like meet you all. And you know, when, when else would you have the opportunity to go to like these amazing places and like meet people? So this eyeshadow is like, it looks so, so nice. It's called Mendoza from NARS, but I feel like I'm putting it on maybe a bit wrong. Okay, so I just want something really natural on the lips. I just want like, this is my favorite lip pencil ever. It's called Honeymoon and it's by Morphe. So yeah, like kind of looking back on the first three months, do I wish I could have done more? Me being the person that I am, I'm going to say yes, of course. But I feel like thing, there's so much that can still happen. Like I'm so excited for this year. And last year, guys, honestly, I felt like I had like, one of the best years of my entire life. And I'm not just saying that. And the reason why I felt like that happened was because I, one, was just enjoying it. I was trying to like enjoy the moment. And two, I just, I don't know. I just really threw myself out there and tried different things and tried to have an open mind about so much stuff. And I honestly feel like I'm so blessed to have like all of the opportunities that have come my way and Actually, the more I grow and as a person and also as a business, I feel like I appreciate the past even more because I was, I always feel like, oh my God, like that person believed in me and collaborated with me when I was like so much smaller in terms of my following and stuff like that. And it's really just not about the following all the time. It's just about you and your energy and like what energy you're putting out there. I started doing some Pilates recently as well. And I honestly, some days I don't do it and that's cool, but I try to do it at least once a day. And it's just a bit of me time and I'm really enjoying it. And that's the most important thing. I'm not doing it for like, to look super buff, to like show off to anyone else. I'm just doing it for me. Obviously, if you look good along the way, great. But I'm just doing it because it's something that I enjoy. Yeah, I just want, I, what I love about Pilates is that it's really not about how big or how small you are or what you look like. It's really about how you feel. And I definitely feel so much of a difference already. All right, guys, so we are finished. This is the finished look. It's just more of a natural glam with a bit of a copper-ish eye. And just kind of how I do my makeup anyway, I just really fancy is coming on here and having a good chat with y'all and just, you know, updating everyone on what's going on and what's been going on and also, you know, what you guys been up to. So as you guys probably know already, I am an optimist. I'm definitely someone who loves being a positive person. So we are gonna end on a hi. We're gonna end on a positive note. And what I really, really want you to like go away watching this video thinking is like, what can you do that is just for you? So for your own energy, protect your energy. If you're someone who like, is uplifting, upbeat, and you're having a good day, and you feel like maybe someone around you is like bringing you down, or like their energy's bringing you down, or they're draining you slightly, think about how you can maybe turn that around a little bit, and how you can help yourself, and just protect your energy, and like be a good person, and be the best version of yourself. So 
I hope that this might just inspire one person um, watching this video. If it inspires one person or makes one person smile, then I'm a happy person. And yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this kind of like more chatty get ready with me. And yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And until next time, guys, I will see you soon. See you later. Bye.